Hey guys, I'm Shark back playing and showing you how you can 1v9 every single game with the one and only Azir Mid, who is especially popular in China and Korea. Uh, so, like usual, guys, if you enjoy, find it helpful, make sure to smash the like, comment, subscribe. Those are the runes we took Electrocute, Cheap Shot, Ghost Poro, Ingenuous Hunter, Transcendent, Scorch. Those are the rune stats there. And in this lane, we're playing against Kaisa. Pretty medium difficulty matchup. I mean, it's, yeah. Is Kaisa. Ah. AP, Kaisa, Faker's Innovation. Ooh. But, I mean, Azir, he's one of those champs. People think, I mean, he is scale-oriented, yes. He needs items to deal a lot of damage and such. But, I mean, he gets power spikes along the way. The Lost Chapter spikes, pretty solid. Loot and Spike is one of the strongest for mages within the game. And, uh, yeah, you can make plays. You just have to really search for them and find them. But, I mean, for the most part, how we're going to play this early game is we're going to farm. Should have kited back more. My minion wave was hitting her, so ah, that wasn't enough. She just out trades us with hail of blades. W and auto attack. We're just thinning out the wave, trying to make, trying to make. The wave even or us to hit level two first. Either one works. Damn. Well played. <laughs> Playing really aggressively. Yep. Going for a little jab trade there. We still have electrocute up, so it's possible. When our Q comes off cooldown, we can place both soldiers and try to look for an all-in, but we'll see. Now we can't. Her healing's quite something. Oh. Kais is pretty mid to short range, so we're always going to be in range to deal our combo. You missed. In your face. Nice cannon minion. Freaking noob. We're just playing the CS game. If we, That'd be the most ideal. Got two autos there, which is pretty huge. Back away style with the minion. Aggro drops. Possible for us to <clears throat> look for something real. Like that with the Ignite, and we get a kill. Oh, that was first blood. And that's what I'm talking about. You just got to know a little shimmy shimmy auto, kite back and forward. And you can outplay a lot of these lane matchups. You're not too weak of a champ. Yes, you are weak, but there's some power. An ally has been slain. An enemy has been slain. Yeah, freak the Dark Seal. I don't feel like... I mean, it is, it's something, depends on, you know, what you're looking for. Dark Seal, ever since, you know, the nerfs has gotten a while back. If you just hold on to Dark Seal, it's harder to stack all the way. We are the authors of history. And if you die, you lose so many stacks, so I don't know. <clears throat> I want that lost chapter power spike since they'll solve all our mana problems. We're going to actually hit her with two Qs there. Oh, we still have Electrocute Bummer. I do want to hold the wave on my side so that way Trundle can't gank. Nice. We get that electrocute proc there. Oh, what? Wow, that was a really nice W. Kais is still like AD heavy, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Kais is kiting all the way far back, trying to dodge me out. Makes sense. You should be scared. You really should. You really should be afraid. Like, I am playing Azir. You understand that? Popping the W's, trying to shove the wave as fast as possible. We want to keep Kaisa within the lane now. We might be getting ganked by Trundle, so we have to factor that. Looking for a little one more jab trade before we look for the all in. The 
Need to back away. And you need to back. We're going to be up ahead in CSN levels. So we'll take it. We'll have our ult in like a couple seconds here. Just in case that's pesky pesky. That's fun. That's fun. <laughs> uh, my wave is doomed though. I tried to QE, but I didn't have enough mana. Because I was trying to QE and then bait the... Bait the trundle in. Bait the trundle in, like, uh, waste this time. Yep, yep, yep. Sadly, don't have enough gold for refillable. But this will be sufficient enough. And do that for the one time. Because we have lost chapter now and have mana. Allergies are the worst this year. I don't know what's up, but it's over. Like, it's just so bad. I don't know where the Kaisa is, but she got a W off on me. We're just kiting back and forward. She wants to play safe. Prop the electrocute. She can try to play safe. She won't. We'll just slowly chip her out and win. The more AP and the more items we get, the more we're just able to win. I mean, it's literally we can outscale her if she just doesn't want to play for CS. Just like that. Sharima shuffled her, but we just ulted her for the damage. Wave crashes, bounces back out to me, and it's another reset. We're super far ahead now. You need not follow, but you must <sighs> After that lost chapter spike, it's real. It is real. Okay. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. The uh, top lane. Really well played. And I don't think... Yeah, Trono can't do anything. He's just silly. He's just silly. Come on. Level 6 Shavana. Like what? Got a little jab jab. Gonna take a tower plating. And I mean, CS lead is just as good as a kill lead, honestly. She's kiting all the way back. Couldn't land nothing. Oh, Trundle. Good thing my ward didn't expire. We'll play Shavana. You really backed me up there. Taking blue buff and all. Well played. Oh yeah, stop that recall. Well played. We'll play it as real. You really baited me in. <clears throat> oh boy. Wow. And they get shot down. Wow. All stemmed from... Some from three. It was it was Shavana going to blue. Ezreal inting mid. Two efficient plays, which turned into three. I should have realized their bot lane was gone. 
I should have realized their bot lane was gone and then just backed away, but you know. I was paying attention on trying to solo kill Kaisa, unfortunately. It's just being greed, yep. But I mean, I think, yeah, we're still fine. I can definitely get that cannon. Get the corner click. Kaisa's actually getting her power spikes, so that's not good. She scales really hard with the AP variation. She's kind of like Corky. That's what she reminds me of. Another variation of Corky. Got a little job trade there with Scorch. And yeah. Farm, 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 fun. Now, since we have lost chapter and oh, oh, another gank. It's all annoying. It's like I never get hovered. That's my like. That's my issue. I never get hovered. Nice. They got rifted bot, which is kind of whatever. We have red buff, which is healing us as of right now, and we can definitely look mid. It's like Trundle obviously will gank mid, but we win 2v2, so. Why don't you just hover me? Ah, whatever. You can't rely on anyone to do anything correctly. Worthless players. But uh, you know what I mean? That's like what you have to play around, really. That's what you have to play around and just like expect. They're not going to do anything, all right? You're gonna have to do everything, and you're gonna have to carry. There's no flash. She's gonna try to W the cannon. Now she's just gonna look for the base. Okay, we'll just win and see us. That's fine. We don't need to risk anything, go for anything. Just chill. Just chill. Wave bounces back out. We're up in XP and CS. It's it's huge. Huge. Small leads lead into bigger ones. Oh, we're definitely getting Shadow Flame. That's huge. With all that magic penetration and such, you just become... <laughs> you're like a mix. It's, it's control mage, yes. But you also... It's like you're a burst mage at the same time. With your combo. The WQER. They, they don't expect it. And since you take Ingenuous Hunter, your Ludens comes off cooldown really often. I can actually roam to this play. We're not going to look for it. Usually you want to be playing in front. Okay. I thought I'd Shurima shuffle them in, but I guess not. Shove the wave in. It's probably worth for her because of the shutdown. But I mean, she did burn flash. Wait, was it? Yeah, she did. It's just a really sloppy, chaotic game. And honestly, I mean, I'm okay. I'm okay to play it out. We get drag off it, so that's good.
Oh. We just have to adapt. Magic pen boots. Cool. Top lane, I think wins. Unless he misses everything. Ah, Gangplank, no Q cooldown. And Aatrox gets a shit ton of healing. Because of Gore Drinker and just his passive from his ulti. Oh boy. There we go, and that's what I'm talking about. Azir scales like a beast. You see that small leads lead into bigger leads, like you're seeing now. Our XP and gold lead contribute to this. That's fine. Just want to shove her out. Shove her out. Try to take tower. Going for a solo kill on Morg is probably not the move because she has stopwatch. Ah. I thought she tried to R Zonius. And the R would have did enough damage to burst her. Or would have done enough damage. I think I'm a dip. Actually, I want to dip when I have enough for a Needleless Rod. There we go. She tried to bait us in because the trundle was coming. She doesn't know we're playing a Zir and we deal this much burst. All right, combo him up. All right, playing a little bit back. Gonna maybe look for the Q E O A. We're chilling. It's huge. Gonna be a needless rod by. Wow, that wasn't enough. And I mean, yeah, this is a pretty pretty standard build. You could opt for Leandries into like tankier comps, but the Ludens and the Burst is just the most ideal. And other than Electrocute, you can go for that Conqueror page. This is some given matchups. If you think you're going to be stacking that up and the extra Adaptive Force will be worth more than the extra burst you get from Electrocute in short trades. Preference. It's preference. Guys, I'm getting a haircut this weekend. That's why the lights are off really insecure you know what i'm saying it's like whenever whenever someone comments something about my hairline it's like oh, i'm crying i'm insecure it's like your opinion your random opinion with your default profile picture is that important you know what i mean yeah you know what i mean yep Keep flaming my looks. No need to hate. That's all I'm trying to say. Hate never comes from above. That's what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you do. Anyways. <clears throat> Trundle's bot and the Sivir. We might be able to even go for the 1v2. We'll see. And that is why you play Azir in Season 12, my friends. Did you just see that? Did you just see that 1v2? It's limit testing, and that's what I'm talking about. Azir doesn't need to be playing far back with the team all the time. You can make these aggressive plays if you just limit test and execute well. We can go for Zonias, Rabadons. Eh.
be honest, probably like a Zonia's angle. Especially if we team fight, they're gonna get to me eventually. I don't know how. With Sivir R, it might be Kaisa trying to R in onto me. It might be Morgana landing a Q and everyone tries to get me. You know? Up oh, and just like that, they forfeit. It's gonna be how to carry with that a zero pick. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.